AEB or auto emergency braking. It's a term you might have heard or you will be hearing about as it becomes standard across more of the world's cars. AEB is just a term used to describe the end result though and the technology can be quite different across different automakers. Today we'll be having a look at Subaru's EyeSight technology to see how that works. Subaru's EyeSight uses dual cameras mounted behind the windscreen to detect objects in front of the vehicle. The images are then compared by the car's onboard computer and triangulated to determine the distance to objects in front of the car. Competitor systems from other manufacturers mainly use radars, single cameras, sonar or some combination of those to determine the vehicle's distance from objects. It's worth noting that AEB has different names depending on the manufacturer. Each system has pros and cons and different abilities. Single camera systems, for example, are generally limited in the speed at which they work, whereas radars often need to rely on secondary systems to account for lane keeping technology. Subaru says its unique dual camera system is employed so that multiple safety items like lane control, active cruise control and emergency braking could all be enabled by one set of hardware. On the downside, Subaru's windscreen mounted cameras mean that replacement windscreens can only be calibrated by Subaru service technicians. The system is also expandable in its scope and abilities and is now in its third generation. The brand says to look forward to what else it can do with its dual camera setup in the future. We had a chance to sample the tech at a demo set up by Subaru. In the case of Subaru, this system will work up to what they rate as 50 kilometers an hour. This test we're gonna do is uh, 20 kilometers an hour and you get to see my reaction. Uh, and the ANCAP test that they actually used on this car went all the way up to 70 kilometers an hour and still worked. Obviously don't try that at home. So here we go. The Forester now also has reverse emergency braking via sonar. Now, AEB is no replacement for paying attention, but it is useful for those situations where there are distractions or situations outside of your control. The most important thing about the technology is its reaction time is far faster than any human is ever going to be. If you want to read more about the different AEB systems across different manufacturers and different technologies, make sure you do that in our advice section over at carsguide.com.au. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.